So, remind me, how long have you and Tyler been together? Is she trying to get with me? <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, and welcome back to a special Hooked Halloween Spectacular, and today I'm joined with the spookiest, scariest person I know, Lauren! Me, spooky. That was definitely not a comment on your appearance. I know, I told Scott I'm feeling like a hot mess today with my glasses, and that's about it. She looks great. Everyone tell her she looks amazing. I've not actually seen her. I have no... Yeah, I, so... I'm just going off of blind faith as a good friend. I've not actually seen what she looks like. I could be a legitimate disaster and you're just vouching for me. Uh, that's what friends are for. I have to just build this up. Oh, thanks. So, me and Lauren are going to dive into the world of Hooked Stories. And we did one on Lauren's channel. So after you're done this video, make sure to go and check that out over there. Because we did a different story. Yep. But we have this one that... What's it called again, Lauren? It is called Lake House Escape. Oh, so I'm assuming there's going to be a lake house and an escape. <laughs> so I will be Kate and you can be Janet, okay? I can't decide who's the main girl though. It's normally left as... Is you, right? I'll be Kate. Okay. okay. Are you ready? I'm ready to hear your girl voice. Also, I turned the, my background red for you. Wow, we're getting some serious spoops. I've got on my Halloween jumper. Like, we're getting all of the spips. Also, the, my mask on my chair that you can't see, but everybody else can right now. <laughs> wow. Wow. I'm ready. I'm gonna embrace Kate. I'm trying to think of what her backstory, what her purpose in life is. I'm gonna just say she's a valley girl because it's one of the only voices I can do. That's fair enough. Hey, girl. You headed to the lake soon? Who's Janet? What do you want Janet to be? She's your character. I want her to be creepy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Sure am. <laughs> Jesus, Chivalry, <laughs> what on earth is that? Thanks again for inviting me and Tyler. Why did I invite you and Tyler? I don't know. Of course. Ben and I are excited to get to know you two a bit better. Maybe you are the creepy people and that's why we're like... See, you have no idea yeah, how creepy I actually am. We're already on our way. Perfect. Tyler and I are just about to head out. Before you do, can I ask you a favor? No. <laughs> sure thing. What's up? Could you pack a knife? Would this cabin we're going to not also have kitchen knives for like general Yeah, cooking? right? Yeah. What do you need a knife for? It better be cheese. If it's anything besides <laughs> cheese, I'm not bringing the knife. <laughs> uh, a knife? <laughs> yeah, you thought you were the creepy one. I <laughs> yeah, I know. Now you're turning it on me. I know. Weird request, right? And so random. Lol. I'm not like other girls. <laughs> I like a knife. Ben says we forgot to grab one. He claims he'll need it for some outdoorsy stuff, like murdering people and burying them. Yeah, right. <laughs> Lol. Okay, sure. Wait, what kind of knife? I was saying you just shot with a butter knife, like. Here yeah, you go. <laughs> yeah, you were very specific on the knife. I could just have like no. a, a spreading knife. <laughs> I don't think I have anything outdoorsy. Just. Kitchen knives. That'll actually be perfect for us to murder you with. Yeah, as long as it's <laughs> Just sharp. grab the biggest one. <laughs> you shot with one of those like serrated bread knives. Like, yeah. Is this, is this what you meant? Got it. Great. See you soon. One hour later. Oh, oh, new characters. Oh, I'm Tyler now. Okay, yeah, so are we being each other's significant other? Hey, babe, I'm outside your apartment. Need help with your bag? I think I've got it. Be out in a sec. Janet grabs her duffel bag and goes downstairs. She's about to walk out the door, but she remembers Kate's request. Janet makes her way to the kitchen, grabs a knife, and tucks it safely in her bag between two articles of clothing. Later in the afternoon, Janet sits in the passenger seat of Tyler's car, fiddling with the radio. So, we're really doing this? Wait, are we texting each other while we're sitting next to each other? Yes, we are. Oh my god, would you stop? Kate was nice enough to invite us on this trip. What are we fighting? We can't talk to each other? We're just... I know. But also, why am I texting while driving? Don't do that. Oh, yeah. Bad. Can you please be grateful? Grateful? I just want to make sure I don't get murdered in the woods. I'd be more scared of you running off the road because you're <laughs> texting me while you're driving. You're more likely to die in a car accident than you are to be murdered by some psychopath in the woods, statistically. Well, if you keep this up, I just might murder you myself. All right, Janet. Boy, see, the voice finally fits. 
I'm just saying, that night you met Kate? Do we have to do this again? We've talked about this so many times. Because it was weird. Well, what happened? I don't know. I try not to think about it. The fact that you don't remember the entire night, someone definitely died when you were with. <laughs> yes. It's strange, babe. I'm sorry, Tyler. I just love them marks. Them margaritas. <laughs> can't, can't control myself. <laughs> I just don't like to... know what. Yeah! Yes! Yeah. So we're getting something about you're just murdering someone. And in the morning, Tyler's like, why didn't you remember anything, babe? Was it Kate? And I was like, yeah, yeah, it was Kate. It was Kate. <laughs> it was Kate. She, she did something. Like, yeah, nursing a massive fire. Well, it must be Kate. She's poisoned me. <laughs> <laughs> For the last time, I had too much to drink. See, I told you. The one margarita. Marks. It was two for one margarita night, Tyler. <laughs> and that probably didn't mix well with the meds I take. I blacked out. It happens. Right. It happens. I just feel like normally people don't wake up the next morning with a new best friend. <laughs> Isn't that how all girls <laughs> work in the club? Like you go to the bathroom and suddenly you're BFFs? Yeah, exactly. Tyler just doesn't know women. Who they don't even remember meeting. I'm pretty sure that's exactly how it works. If you go out, you margaritas, two for Tuesdays, yeah. like all of a sudden BFFs, <laughs> like in the bathroom and then in the morning you forget they exist. Yeah, that's a hunt. Tyler, what are you doing here, honey? I should have been there. Don't beat yourself up about it. You were two states away. Not much you could do. And like you said, I made a new friend out of the whole ordeal. I think it was fate. Janet thinks back to the party she attended a month earlier. She doesn't remember a thing about that night. She only remembers waking up in a stranger's bed. Before she could panic, Kate had walked in with breakfast on a tray. Kate claimed Janet had passed out and that she had taken care of Janet. Made sure she was okay. The tone you use for that makes it sound so more <laughs> sinister. Like, and that she had taken care of Janet. Da, da, da. Well, we're almost there. Just 10 more miles and we'll hopefully be able to relax. The next day. Janet lounges on his floaty in the lake. Oh, Kate floating along with her bar by her side. Both have drinks in hand. Yay, margaritas! We love a margarita. Janet watches Tyler and Ben play frisbee on the shore. Cute, her they're like dogs. <laughs> her boyfriend looking much less coordinated than Kate's. So, have you enjoyed the lake so far? Are you kidding? I love that we're just sat on floaties and the field just texting each other while we're next to each other. Like, I don't think anybody talks to one another in these stories. No. I can't think of a better way to end the summer than this. Thank you again for having us. I'm so glad it worked out. I would have done anything to get you up here. Janet takes a sip of her drink. Oh no. I'm totally drunk to you. <laughs> Soaking in the sunshine. All of a sudden, she remembers. <gasps> oh, no, I thought she was remembering what oh, happened the first yeah, night. So did I. Darn it. That's not insane. Hey, that knife. What about it? Oh, I just brought it. Does Ben need it? Well, not yet. Totally only when we murder you. <laughs> <laughs> ha, okay. Should I just leave it in the kitchen or something? No, keep it for now. Kate smiles and closes her eyes again. They float in a heavy silence for a few seconds. So, remind me, how long have you and Tyler been together? Is she trying to get with me? <laughs> I just want to murder Tyler so that you can be part of a thruffle with me and Ben. Yeah, right. Four years now. We met our freshman year of college. I like that I'm still keeping the scary voice. We both lived in the same dorm. And after the first week of school, we just kind of knew we were right for each other. That's so sweet. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. Sometimes I wonder if he's getting bored of me. Please, how could he ever get bored of you? I know, I'm amazing. Girl, you're amazing. Look at yeah. you, you're uh, amazing. Wow. <laughs> We're psychic. Uh, Janet blushes. <laughs> how long have you and Ben been together? We've been partners in crime for 10 years now. Partners in crime? <laughs> I feel like it was a very selectively chosen phrase. Yeah. Wait, what? 10 years? How is that even possible? <laughs> We're only nine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we met in middle school. Aw, same class. Kind of. Our first date was in detention. Oh, no bad. Ha, no way. Yep. What did you guys do? Murdered someone. <laughs> It was dissection day in all the science classes. Oh god, I don't like where this is going. Ben and I wanted to give the frogs a fair chance. Oh god, she means like let them run and I catch them and kill them. Yeah. A fair chance? To run. 
I'm sorry, I don't understand, crazy person. <laughs> <laughs> well, they kept the frogs locked up in tanks. Wait, they don't give you the frogs live for dissection class? <laughs> I don't know, that's a weird American thing. When we do that in the UK, we get like a lamb heart or like uh -oh. a sheep's eye. Like just a piece of the animal rather than the entire thing. Uh, yeah, here they give you frogs, but they're already dead. Where's the justice in killing a creature when it's got nowhere to run? Like, what's fun about shooting fish in a barrel? So, we let the frogs loose. Oh, and what happened to them? I feel like this is foreshadowing something. Not sure. Supposedly the janitor had to hunt them down. But Ben and I have been together ever since. Wow, so cute and not at all psychotic. This is 100% like there's a film out recently where it's like basically a giant game of what manhunt that's what this is like it's setting up to be that, yeah like, i invited you here to release you into the thing to see if you can escape good luck i know <laughs> good luck may the odds be ever in your favor yeah. we're so close sometimes i think we're the same person they said another bit of silence kate can i ask you something sure thing why did you take care of me after that party it was so nice of you, but you didn't know me or anything. There's something you should know about me. I just love everyone. <laughs> I don't like most people, but you? Well, let's just say, I knew you were just the type of person I want to have around. A loud crash sounds from the direction <gasps> of the shore. Oh no. Janet whips her head around. Tyler is frozen, his arm outstretched, as if the frisbee just left his hand, and he has a panicked look in his face. Janet follows his gaze to the house and sees the window he just broke. I am so sorry. I knew I was bad at throwing a frisbee, but I didn't know I was that bad. Kate laughs, waving her hand. Don't worry about it. We'll get it fixed. There isn't any rain forecast for the next few days. We should be fine. <laughs> what about like animals and stuff? Nah, doesn't matter. Kate paddles to shore as Ben stands near the water waiting for her. He's ready for so Oh my goodness, we foreshadowed this, Lauren. What is happening? <laughs> Why did we foreshadow this? How did we foreshadow that? Because margaritas are amazing! <laughs> He's ready for some margarita! Me! <laughs> Later that night... Janet sits on the bed. While Tyler roams around the room, looking at the different animal heads mounted on the walls. Oh my god, they're hunters! I knew Yeah, they're gonna hunt them! <laughs> yep. Having fun? A blast. Is that sarcasm I detect? Other than breaking a window and trying to make conversation with someone who doesn't talk, I'm having a great time. Oh, no luck with Ben? None. I think it's pretty obvious he doesn't like me. He's just quiet. Sure. Janet pouts prettily. How do you do that? Is that like the fish pout? Like fish pose lip? <laughs> Are you trying to seduce me, Lauren? <laughs> Yes. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. Thank you for coming here with me. Tyler grunts and responds. Uh. <laughs> uh. Janet lies back on the bed. Come here. Oh, this must get <laughs> weird. Why? Come over here. Reluctantly, Tyler goes over and lies down beside Janet. Oh, oh. God. What is, what is this happening? <laughs> she feels, oh, you don't, she feels him on top of her and begins kissing him. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> oh my god, what is happening? <laughs> Should we read we more it? No, we just get it. Okay, there's, oh, okay. A, there's a knock that, on the door. <laughs> there's a knock on the door. Thank god. They break apart. Janet's, Janet's face turning red. She tiptoes to the door and gently cracks it open. At her feet are a bottle of wine, some glasses, and a folded note. Reaching down, she grabs the bottle and reads the note. Who was it? I think Kate left us this. She holds up the wine bottle. What does the note say? Why are we still texting each other? <laughs> <laughs> this relationship is purely text. We don't talk. Get ready for a night you won't forget. Here's a little something to get your blood flowing. What does that mean? I don't like this. No idea. You've made some weird new friends. She's just trying to be nice. And Let's... before the session, she's just trying to be like a foursome. That's all this yeah, is the entire time. Basically. <laughs> Let's just try to enjoy ourselves, okay? Fine. Want a glass? Is it a red? Yeah. Then nah, I'm good. More for me then! <laughs> <laughs> Jenna is an alcoholic. I just need to find a bottle opener. There wasn't one with the bottle? Guess not. Janet looks around okay, the room. Okay, you dumb person. She opens the dresser and nightstand drawers. You really think there'll be one in there? Look at this. What? Janet pulls out a binder labeled guest book from one of the drawers. I guess we can sign our names. 
She opens the book and flips through page after page, each one showing a different smiling couple standing next to Ben and Gabe. Wow, they have a lot of friends. Tyler hovers over her shoulder, looking at the photos with her. Wait, go back one. Janet turns the page to a blonde couple, their skin slightly burnt from the sun. I know those names. Tom Holt and Allie Cooper? Yeah, I've heard those names before, but I can't remember where. Do you recognize them? Kind of, but I don't remember meeting them. Oh, it's gonna bug me. Let me look it up. Tyler tries to click on his phone, but he is met with a black screen. Shit, mine's dead. Did you bring a charger? I forgot mine at home. In my bag, but I don't get much service out here. Worth a try. How are we texting if my phone is dead? Oh yeah, that's right! Tyler digs through Janet's bag. I'm gonna find the knife. I'm just like, you have like the vein when it's just like, what have you got? A oh, knife! <laughs> Ow! What? What's wrong? What the? Janet, what is this? Tyler gingerly lifts a kitchen knife from Janet's bag. Oh, that. Oh my God, did you cut yourself? Just a nick, but it could have been worse. Why did you pack a knife? This is going to sound weird, but Kate asked me to. Wait, really? Yeah, she said Ben needed one. That he forgot his and wanted to do outdoorsy stuff. But... That actually might work better as a bottle opener. Give it here. Tyler has Janet the knife, oh. which she sticks into the cork, slowly turning until the cork comes out with a pop. A familiar earthy taste sticks to her tongue. She continues flipping through the guestbook, marveling at all the different faces staring back at her. Janet, something's not right. What do you mean? That knife. What about it? Look at me for a second. But I need to read my text messages. Janet turns around and sees Tyler leaning over his bag. He's holding a pocket knife. Oh my god, did they tell him to bring a knife too? Are they gonna have to duel? A couple days before we came here, I got a text from an unknown number. Turns out it was Ben. And he asked me if I could bring something. A knife. I mean, that makes sense. Kate said he needed one. He probably didn't know Kate asked me for one too. He didn't say he needed it for anything. He said I needed it. I'm so confused as to where this is going. For an outdoor activity we were all going to do. You worry too much. I'm sure it's nothing. Janet's fingers tingle. Oh, I got drugged. Her thoughts slow. Just a couple sips and she's already feeling the wine. She didn't know she was such a lightweight. She turns to the last page of the guest book. There's no photo, but there's a pair of names written on the page. Names she recognizes. Um, Tyler? Yeah? Come here. Tyler tentatively walks over. We're in the guest book. What? Look. Tyler looks at the last page. And there, written in the same manner as all the other pages, are Tyler and Janet's names. I mean, that's not that weird. Yeah, I was like, going to say, out of all everything else that's happened, that's weird. Yeah. Guess they'll add our photo after the trip? Oh, God. Janet, we have to leave. <laughs> this is too weird, Janet. <laughs> Nobody puts Janet, on their... I can't take it. Only guests are supposed to write in the guest book, Janet. <laughs> That's breaking so many protocols, Janet. What? Why? I just remembered. The blonde-haired couple. I know why their names are so familiar. Janet flips back to their entry in the book. That's the couple that went missing. Remember? In the news? They supposedly left to go on vacation and were never seen again. Go back a couple more pages. Oh, things aren't looking good for us. Janet flips the pages to a couple named Kyler Locke and Marie Claire. My God, remember them? Janet nods her head. They also went missing a few months ago. They were traveling across the country. Janet blinks hard, trying to erase the dizziness that's clouding her brain. Knives, a secluded lake house, pictures of missing people. Janet, we need to go, now. Janet can't speak. That's why she's text messaging. <laughs> so she offers a quick nod. Tyler stuffs their things into their bag and throws them over the shoulder. He grabs Janet's hand and leads her to the door, placing his finger over his mouth, communicating silence. <laughs> he opens the door. The house is dark. He pulls Janet into the hallway, moving carefully, trying not to make the floorboards creak. They pass the broken window, wind howling through the hall, filling the house with cold air. As they reach the living room, Janet can see the front door. She fights the urge to break into a run, but before they can take another step, light floods the hall. Standing across the room is Ben, and in his hand is a large bony knife and a faint smile on his lips. Tyler pushes Janet behind him. As I've got a little camping knife like. Oh yeah, we're screwed. Hey man, sorry if we woke you up. Ben doesn't respond. He just stands there, his hand tightening around the knife. Janet's not feeling well, so I think we're gonna head home early. Ben's smile widens. He takes a step forward. What are you doing? Tyler takes a step towards the door, but Ben mirrors his movements, blocking the way. Quit messing around. 
You're freaking us out. Suddenly, the hallway is plunged back into darkness. Janet screams. The sound of footsteps rushes toward them. Janet, run! Tyler pushes Janet towards the broken window. She stumbles over the rug. Get out of here! Before she gets to the window, she quickly unzips her bag, retrieving the kitchen knife. This is going so long. I know. Her limbs feel sluggish, but she manages to use the handle of the knife to punch out the rest of the window. She hoists herself up through the window and outside. As she hits the ground, she twists her ankle. <laughs> Damn it, Donna. And lets out a shriek. As she tries to stumble to her feet, she hears a crash come from inside the house. Tyler? Tyler? Janet stands and stares back through the window. Nothing but silence from the house. He's not texting me back. She panics, <laughs> not knowing what to do. Go back in for Tyler? Or run? <laughs> Before she can decide, a sing-song voice rings out from the front of the house. Janet! Oh my god, it's friggin' gay. Where'd you run off to? A dark figure emerges from around the corner of the house. Good, you got your knife. Janet bursts into a sprint in the opposite direction. Tears blurring her vision. She doesn't know where she's going. She just knows she has to get away. She reaches the woods and frantically looks back for Kate. But her foot catches on a root and she falls to the forest floor. Damn it, Janet. She's so clumsy, damn it, Janet. Her outstretched hand landing on the knife. Oh, God. Oh, God, damn, Janet. Her ankle throbs. Oh, God, Janet. She's going to kill herself. <laughs> Joke's on you. You can't get me. I get myself. <laughs> the wound on her hand gushes with blood. Janet crawls behind a large bush, hugging her knees tightly to her chest. Are you feeling okay, sweetie? Janet tries to steady her breath, trying to still her shaking body. You know, you really shouldn't accept a drink from a stranger. You made the same mistake that night at the party. A glass of wine for me and you were out like a light. Janet holds her breath as Kate walks by the bush. Kate scans the area around her. I knew then you'd be perfect for our little <gasps> game. Oh, that's what she was doing that night. You see, letting those frogs loose was how Ben and I fell in love. We both knew we had to give the frogs a chance to run so we could hunt them down. Janet feels like her heart is going to burst out of her chest. She can hear Kate's feet crunching on the ground, circling her. We have so many shared interests, Ben and I. The same interest in hunting. Well, a particular type of hunting. We like to let our animals go first. It's more fun that way. But of course, hunting animals got too boring. Kate prowls closer, checking behind every tree. So we found new prey, prey that was much more unpredictable. Kate's footsteps start to fade, and then there's silence. Jen is unable to move. After a few moments, she takes a breath. Chancing a glance from behind the bush, Kate is nowhere to be seen. Janet waits for what seems like hours. Then she begins to crawl from behind the bush. She stands, her ankle and legs aching, as she moves back toward the house. She has to find Tyler. There you are. Damn it, Janet. <laughs> Janet spins around, her heart stopping, as she sees Kate making her way down the dock and toward her. I was silly enough to think you might have jumped in the lake. See? Unpredictable. Janet spins around, sprinting back toward the woods. Kate's laugh follows close behind her, echoing off the trees. You're faster than I thought you would be. Have fun. Janet feels a sharp movement fly past her ear. Oh, Jesus. An arrow? Katniss Everton is here for Oh my head. god, these people have watched so much Hunger Games. <laughs> Which lands with a thud in the tree in front of her. Ipsies look like I missed. Janet swerves to the right, ducking beneath a tree branch as she continues to sprint. Kate laughs again, a girlish giggle that sounds closer than before. Suddenly, Janet clears the trees. She's running down the road that leads to the house. Janet dares a look over her shoulder, but sees nothing. No use in running anymore. I got you. A stabbing pain shoots through Janet's calf, and she falls to the ground, sobbing. I can't talk. Star it. Wait. Starring. <laughs> Staring at the arrow protruding from her leg. Oh no, Janet. She hears a crunch behind her. Oh no, Janet. And slowly turns around. Oh no, Janet. Kate stands in the middle of the road. Another arrow pointed directly between Kate's eyes. <laughs> Damn it, Janet. Looks like you weren't a hard catch after all. Oh well. Kate draws her arms back, tightening the bow. Janet closes her eyes and takes a breath, picturing Tyler and wishing she'd never insisted on this lake house trip. <laughs> A dull light begins to fill her vision. Oh, Tyler's gonna hit her with a car. And she clenches her eyes shut, waiting for the moment that the arrow is let loose. But then the light gets brighter. What the? There's an explosive sharp thud, and Janet opens her eyes. Car headlights soak Janet in a bright yellow. Kate lies motionless atop the windshield. Tyler stumbles out of the car. Oh my god, Tyler! We love Tyler! A large gash across his arm, his nose splattered with blood. He runs to Janet's side, grabbing her into his arms. But where's Ben? I don't know. Maybe dead. <laughs> he had his knife against my throat, but I grabbed a shard of glass from the broken window and stabbed him. Oh, damn. 
Then then I ran to find you. Thank God I could hear Kate from the road. Just then, Kate lets out a groan. What do we do? Well done. <laughs> Person, we tie them up and call the police. Janet nods as Tyler makes his way back to his car. He grabs some cables from the trunk and starts wrapping them around Kate's wrists and feet. Kate wanes in and out of consciousness, her mouth moving to form one word. Unpredictable. Oh my god. What's still going on? Jeez, Lord, this was one chapter. <laughs> it's one chapter, yeah, because usually on the bottom it'll say, like, how many chapters out of whatever. Uh, two days later. Janet runs her fingers through Tyler's hair, the computer on his lap. The online article reads, Killer couple, ki killer couple captured. Jesus. Dozens of missing cases solved. <laughs> Janet stares at Kate and Ben's mugshots. Bruises and cuts etched on their faces. You know, it's funny. Was. I actually told Kate I was worried that you were getting bored with me. Tyler snorts, shutting the laptop and turning toward Janet. Wow, Kate's such a good friend. She did all this so that our relationship wouldn't be boring anymore. <laughs> That's when Tyler's like, I am stabs. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, even if you didn't take me to the lake and if we weren't almost murdered by two maniacs, I could still never get bored with you. Oh. Janet smiles as Tyler kisses her lips. <laughs> I'm dating the most interesting person I know. Wow. And I wouldn't have it any other way. Oh. They really had to fit that in the story. They were like, we have to have another yeah. scene at the end. <laughs> I guess like one of the first hooks we've done that has ever had like a nice happy ending. <laughs> yeah. I kept waiting for like a terrible ending because every hook has a terrible ending. I thought it was gonna like just be like that they died in the house and that was it. <laughs> that was very long for one chapter. The person that made this duped us. That should have been multiple. <laughs> but if you enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like. Go over to Lauren's channel and check out the other hook that we did over there. It was a different one. It was a bunch of fun. Thank you, Lauren, for joining me. You're welcome. I wouldn't have had any other spooky Janet person. Spooky Janet person. Well, you do the spooky voice. It turns out you were the main character that was good. Yeah, it always happens that way too. But if you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like. Comment down below. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you do not miss a video. And we will see you all next time. Bye. Bye.